You know, I don't think I've ever actually had to set the bar so low, set my expectations so low for a video game than I did Roller Coaster Tycoon World. I set that bar on the ground. No, I didn't set the bar on the ground. I dug a small trench and then put the bar into that small trench and somehow this game still didn't clear that bar. This was originally going to be the first tests video to show off like, hey, look, we're testing things and this is like a blind go of it. But it's just so awful. It's only the beta. Incidentally, quick thing to point out, this music, way too fucking sinister. I'm trying to build a theme park, not be attacked by a giant shark. Anyway, Roller Coaster Tycoon World is the next in the Roller Coaster Tycoon series, a series that is entrenched in my soul as being wonderful. The last game, not the mobile piece of shit we dare not speak of, but the last game, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, was spectacular, and fuck it, they all were spectacular, but that was the one that did 3D and it did it well. So you expect this to build on that? Ha! Ah, no. This is as far as I can tell, a piece of shit cash-in, much like the mobile one, uh, but without the shitty, shady microtransactions that they came with. Atari doesn't give a fuck about this franchise, and it's very, very, very obvious with this game. Uh, so, when this game was first announced, it was being made by uh, a, a studio called Pipeworks. They, at some point, were kicked off, uh, and then it was being made by Area 52, and then the trailer came out. You remember that trailer? You remember that trailer where everything looked absolutely awful? It was a weird, not quite cartoon style, and there was like no shadows in places, and it looked awful. Well, the game doesn't look like that anymore because it has an entirely different art style, and it's being made in Unity, um, and a different company is working on it. So it was Pipeworks, then it was Area 52, and now it's Envisio. Third developer on a game is never a good sign. This, it's just... And they've been very, like, because originally it was going to be at the start of this year, and then it was at December 10th, and now since this beta started, they've put it back another 19 days, and it's just... bad. Right, this is the beta. I will say that this is currently the beta, and it's, you know, quite hard to judge a game on a beta normally, but when this is this shockingly awful, yeah, you kind of worry. Like, when, remember that trailer where it was all awful footage? They were like, oh, actually, that was just the pre-alpha stuff. Yeah, remember when I played Just Cause 3? about four or five months ago, that was pre-alpha as well. And that game actually managed to hit 60 FPS, unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon World. We'll show that later. Should we get started? Should we see the options that's in this beta? Remember, this game is now, when you see this video, like a month and a bit away from launch. Oh no, they put it back. When I, when I first recorded this video, it was December 10th, now it's December 29th. So, a month and a few weeks away from launch. Right, we have load game, and I can't seem to get games to save at all. We've got sandbox, which is one park. And you can't turn on unlimited money because there's actually no money in the game yet. There's no other financing so far. Uh, and then there's an options menu, which is just legal info. You can't even change the resolution of this game, which is marvellous. So, it's a thin beta. It's a very thin beta. The music's doing the sinister bit again. Dun, 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 dun. It's really Jaws now. Let's start the sandbox. Right. Loading may take several minutes, please be patient. You'll notice the first thing when this eventually loads, and that's an infinity symbol for a reason, uh, that the game looks like just shit semi- You know when games aim for realism, but they're being built in Unity, so they miss it by a mile? That is the look this game's got now. So it's gone from the classic Roller Coaster 1 and 2, the nice cartoony 3, and now it's just sort of like... Realism. And unless you've got the budget of a AAA studio, and this game clearly has the budget of a squirrel, uh, like if we have three nuts, what do we make for that game? Um, then you, realism, you should really try and stay away from, because realism, realism ages badly in video games. It's always aged badly. If you play something that's cartoony, it still looks good. It may be at a slightly janky resolution, but it still looks good. Whereas this is going to be dated a lot quicker than three, and it looks worse than three. Three have those beautiful reflections and the lighting and stuff. Hey, we're in. Just want to point out that that was loading up a completely blank park. Literally, just a big field, and then there's some terrain in the background. Nice. Right, so this is the look of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Well, well, yeah. So, the place that's sort of in the middle is where the camera is. So it does some really annoying things. Like, I can't get any closer to the edge if I'm zoomed out. I can only be sort of here, which I find slightly awkward. I, I want that to be a bit free movie. Down in the corner here, we have free cam. Fuck knows what that does. Everything still seems to be exactly the same. Uh, so this is my park. I could have named my park at the start, but that doesn't actually change it up here. So this is going to be Gibbon Mountain. 
like it was in the test video, you'll never see. Uh, there's objectives, which don't work yet. There's notification. This isn't early access. If you've pre-ordered it, you get access to this beta, so you can break it, I believe is what they argue. Or if you're in my case, you can just slag it off vigorously for being awful. Hey, look, some peeps turned up. They're not in the game yet either. Remember, this game is a month from launch, and... Well, they haven't got the people working. You can see they're actually a little more human looking. Oh, that's the camera launching me into space there. They're a bit more human looking than in the uh, first trailer that we saw where they all look sort of stylized and stuff. And apparently there's some Halloween things around the place because, because of course there is. Um, it's kind of an annoying sort of camera. So I really, I really dislike the camera. I like that you can go out into the, see, it's just because it's stuck in the middle. I can go over here, but if I, here, I just can't really further. Um, and all the things are really shitty low rendered. The camera is actually higher resolution than any other vehicle. Which I find quite odd. Hmm. There's some god rays that look okay. The bloom, the bloom is like way overly done, but I kind of like that. There's an art style to be built around there when it works. Um, but yeah, this isn't this isn't quite it. Where do the peeps actually come from? Do they actually come from the car park where they're just sort of wandering through this big oh, there's a big imaginary staircase they're all gonna be pouring out of from here. Which has a terrifying picture of a cat that I didn't notice before. Nice! Right. Should we build something? There's not a huge amount we can build. Uh, there is... Oh, we have... Right, so we have the weather, which doesn't change. We've got the time and date, which... Like, the, there's a day and night cycle. So it goes night time for a very brief thing. But it's sort of like it jumps. It, like, it'll be day, and then it'll be like, boom, sunset, and then it'll be like, boom, night. And then it's, it's quite jumpy, and it has nothing to do with this bar going across. So I have no idea what that bar is telling me. That's like... So the day and night, it's, it's just... It's that weird broken system. Uh, we've got play pause, which plays and pause. We can change the game speed. Doesn't work with one, two, three, or four. So that's our one, two, three, which is annoying. Right! There's the stuff we can build. There's literally nothing else here. Uh, paths and queues. Did they just sort of... Their shadows pop weird. I think they did. Uh, right. We can build straight paths. So you click and then you build a path. I cannot for the life of me find out... Oh, I hold on control and you sort of move. I cannot for the life of me work out how to snap this. I want this to snap so it stays straight, but I can't actually, I, I can't find the button for it. I can't check the options because the options are just a illegal agreement. It's quite annoying. So to get path straight, you have to be really quite accurate with it. There's different size paths and they're all just paths. They don't change anything. They're for different styling, but the styling's pretty fucking empty in this game as well. There's a medium path and there is a large path. So remember in like previous Roller Coaster Tycoons, you could plonk down your paths and they were actually sort of like squares and you could just glue them all together. Well, if I go next to this and build the path next to it, you can't actually... At you can attach them like that, but you can't, like, make it into one big one. So you have to know what sort of size you're going for when you first build it. Uh, and also it bulldozes. It selects the whole thing, but then bulldozes tiny sections. And you have to click every single time, which is annoying. Uh, right. With these paths... Oh, you can also do curved paths, which are like, ooh, click, and then ooh, click. So you can do curved paths. That's a thing. That excites people. Curve paths have never excited me. I like squares. Squares are nice. Clicky, 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 fucking clicky. Right, you can hear a lot of people walking around, even though there are no people. There's some ghosts. Oh, no, they, they still don't want to quite go down my paths yet. They sort of hang around here. Whatever. Uh, and there's queues, of which there's two. Oh, there's a nice sci-fi path. I quite like this. There, the sci-fi one, because it glows a bit in the dark at night. It's like, ooh, it just looks like that at night. The night's not anywhere near dark enough. Uh, it might, might be night now. No, the sun is just setting now. Oh, there's the night. Ooh. Get night time! Night time is here! Yeah, if you're close enough to it, it glows nice and bright. It's like, ooh. And then if you're right two feet away from it, it's not. Um, yeah, I kind of like the I like the nighttime look. I like the bloom. It's, it's way overdone, but I think that's... An oh, someone made it! Someone's got across my path. Good, we should build some stuff for them. Right, so the first thing, we have lampposts and flags. You can have an Enviso button. No one's ever going to do that. It says cost, but we have infinite money. There's no finance in this game whatsoever right now. You can have a pride banner or a Poland banner. Ooh, things to be prideful about. <laughs> People probably are prideful about Poland. I don't fucking know. Uh, you can put benches on paths, which is a lie. She can't, because they don't touch the paths. They do touch these ones. Oh, hang on. No, that's a lie, sorry. They do touch the big ones. Oh, they did when I first tested. Oh, oh uh, uh, yeah. There we go, and we'll just build one right behind that. So they sort of snap weird. Yeah. Okay. The, what's really annoying, what really fucking annoys me, is look, you see that thing above them? That's their degrees angle. The reason they have the degrees angle because it's the fucking, that's how straight the path is. So that one, I was under by 
point something of a degree. This one I was slightly over and this one I was slightly over, which is a bit crap. If we do shift and mouse wheel, we can rotate them, which means fuck all, because they just snap like that. I believe they also can snap sideways, but they're off the path. I don't get why you would want this. They're off the path. Like, bench is on the path. That's... It's, just, it's odd to me that the benches aren't on the paths. Like, unless you're... I swear you could do... Oh. Yeah. So... Why? I, I don't... <laughs> maybe you can't... Maybe if you get it in just the right place. No, that... that On the small paths, absolutely not. On these ones... Oh. There's, like, specific points it allows it. Like, there... Oh, no, maybe here. Maybe it's because it's not straight enough. Fuck knows. I don't know. And I can't snap the road straight, so... Who the hell knows? There's bins and things. And so if, like me, you don't really care about the roller coasters and you're more of a fan of the whole scenery and theming, avoid this because there's four themes. Um, I don't know what they are, but there's like sci-fi and there's other stuff. We'll get to them later. Oh, I like the sparkly metal bits here. Ooh, look how sparkly they are. So sparkly. <laughs> Looks like some fucking firework going off underneath them. Ooh, people are going to start crowding around that. Uh, right, there's also... So that's all the benches and sitting... There's sci-fi. There's western. That's a thing. Bamboo and iron and... Okay, so sci-fi and western. Maybe there's only two themes in this bit so far. There's fences, but you can't click and drag them. You have to put down each piece individually. So you have to go click. And then... Uh, 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 and they've got a big, great hole through them where the, the thing isn't finished, which is nice. Then you can put the next one down just in the right place and then click. And then click and drag. No, nothing. You can't make them. So you have to put down individual fence pieces instead of just a nice click and drag a wall. Uh... And then they'll never actually finish up because they've got that horrible gap there. Oh, we could rotate them, though. If we let them rotate into the right places. There. There we go. That one's just going to have to be longer. Because of course it is. Yes, there's lots of different types of fences. There's also a net rope fence if you want to play volleyball. Chain and plastic sheeting. Plastic sheeting! There's a, there's a, you've missed a letter there, but it's fine. There's some decor you can... I'm going through literally everything in this beta, by the way. So there, there's not a lot to get through, trust me. You can put down a statue of an owl. That for some reason, even though it's round, you can only put at the old 90 degree angles. You can also put it anywhere out here. But if it's anywhere near the path, you get 90 degree angles. You, the ride never ends. The ride never ends. Oh, for fuck's sake, they're referencing shit. I didn't even notice that before. Yes. Right, I can see, I can see through your boat. Um, yeah, you can put things down. I really, I really hope, see this is the one that's an important one. I really hope the water is better than that. Because that's jam, that's blue jam. That someone's making jam in a big thing. That's all that is, that's not water. Although, well that water, see that water out there has reflections. I just can't get close enough to it. If I go in the corner. Oh, you may not start noticing when I get into the corners and start seeing everything. The game starts lagging to absolute balls. That's because the game lags to absolute balls. That's slightly better water, but it's not that... The water in Roadcast Tycoon 3, I absolutely love because it was crystal clear. It was beautifully clear. There was nothing like it, and the ripples look stunning. It still looks stunning to this day. Right, let's carry on. What else do we have? There's, yeah, there's some rocks. And then there's a, a radar dish used to communicate with extraterrestrials. So there's the sci-fi stuff. The sci-fi stuff consisting of three things there. Then there's a hay bale. That's the western and some westerny things. There's some more westerny things. And then there's some pumpkins. Tall lit pumpkin. Wow. Look at that. It's not lit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hang on, I can make an armadi. Armadi? An armada. I don't want to build too many because the game will tank and kill itself. There we go. There's a nice pumpkin armada. None of them have lit up. They're supposed to be lit. Why the fuck are they not lit up? This one's not even lit up anymore. Or is it not night time? Or is it too many lighting effects? This, all the lights have gone off. Okay. So yeah, pumpkins. Uh, that's all the decor. I, I really hate this UI, especially when we get into the rides. It looks awful. It just looks like we've made a game in Unity. This is the UI for it. You can put some hedges, <laughs> bushes and plant. The one plant this game has. There's a cactus. You can have a big Atari topiary if you happen to not hate them yet. Uh, there's a barrel cactus. There's a cactus with a flower on it. Oh, nice. Right, that's that. There's some foliage. I will say the best thing about this game is a tree. I literally think the best thing about this game. There's a... What's this one? This is square flower bed. Cool. There you go. There's a cool flower bed. Probably just the colours are cool. 
What's this one? Square flower bed USA? Why is it called USA? Red, white, and blue in a... Red, white, and blue? Hang, hang, fucking hang on a second. Let me get rid of this awful UI. Uh, that's clearly red, pink, purple, and white. Did I just put, no, I did put down the same one twice. You haven't got any fucking blue in there! And you've got purple and pink! Right, okay, they don't know what the fucking American flag looks like. Did they get it right on this? <laughs> just wanna, just wanna check something. That's the Netherlands. Where's the... Where's the American flag one? Well, they'll clearly have it. There it is! Oh, no, it wasn't. That was, that was the French! That's the British one. Do you not have an American... Is it England banner? I'm actually not seeing it. I, I feel like I've gone mad. China, Brazil, Netherlands, England, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, South Korea, Pride, Poland, and Russia, Spain, Sweden, and Thailand, Turkey. Alright, fine. Uh, so <laughs> Maybe they don't know what the flag looks like! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's a discovery there. Yeah, you can put down a big juniper. Which looks awful. All the flower looks awful. It's like, mm, that's there. You see what I get about the look? It's very, you know, baby's first Unity game. That's why I like 2D games. Desert Bush. Look at that. It's the positive reviews for this game. Uh, right. Trees! Now, these are the good things. They're not, they don't look very good. There's a small cypress tree. There's a big cypress tree. There's a poplar tree. You can put giant sequoias down! And it's the coolest thing in this game! Seriously, I really like the fact that you can have really big trees. I like really big trees. I think they look cool. Uh, uh, if you build fast enough, you can actually get through the uh, sort of size limits. So you can have like big trees. Da, 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 da. Well, actually, I think I built those two into each other. Yeah, it seems to be like I can't build here. So if I build one here, like I can't build until I get sort of that distance away. But if you mash them down real fast, you actually get a few down like that. So they collide and stuff. But yeah, I like I like having the small thing with like the big trees above. That's a, that's a, that's my positive thing for this game. That's the thing that I like. I mean, of course, if you go too far away from them, they turn to fucking sticks for some reason. But, and <laughs> it's like, it's like, hey, hang on, it's like, summer, autumn, I don't know, they've been killed or something. Yeah, oh, my pumpkins vanish as well. I would be able to change that, of course, but of course I can't because there's no uh, options menu. Uh, there's also arches and ride signs, but they've not been added yet. And these are speciality pieces, which is a, a fountain and a modern fountain. Oh, I like that I made its, its water go whoosh. Hey, oh, it's sort of... Oh, it's angled? Oh, because it's probably just firing up at an angle. It's not existing as a separate entity. Okay, never mind. So that's all the scenery and theming. I don't know what that's done. What the fuck is this done? Oh, does that mean I can build a path there? A bit like automatically, like, go, yeah. Oh, no. I can connect to it or something? Fucking no. Curve too short. Oh, do I have to use the curved paths? Uh, yeah, yes? No? Like, I don't, I don't really have no fucking clue what's happening right now. Oh, yeah, yes! Okay, good. Yeah. Paths, there we go. Have some paths. And then around there. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, hello. <laughs> I've got them fucked it. Oh, no, because it's the angle bit. Oh, yeah, it's weird you have to sort of click after each bit as well. It's like, you build a thing, and then it's like, and double click. The roller coasters do a really annoying thing like that. There we go, I've attached all that together. Somehow. Uh, right, we'll get to the coaster builder next. Uh, so what's currently missing? All buildings and all flat rides. So, most of the game. Uh, there's a terrain deformation that works quite nicely. There's night time. Hey, my pumpkin's lit up. Yay, my pumpkins are lit up. Arise, my army. Arise and eat the humans who made this game. Uh, right, so you can raise the land up. You raise me up. And it's just, you can make a bit of a bump. Uh, and then, whoop, drag that up there. Oh, I, I really, really, really don't like this. So you click and you're like, I made a bump, and then you can click it round. To get that bigger, you have to go further away. Like that. And now it's going to do a huge bit. So you have to be further away to do it bigger. Like, I, I know many times in Roller Coaster, like, as like you can see, as I get closer, it's sort of shifting in. So you can't actually have it sort of bigger. That that kind of bugs me. Bugs me quite a lot. Because, like, there's many times I was... I need to see something intricately, but I'm doing a huge bit. So I'm trying to get a, a little corner out. Especially in Roller Coaster Token 3 when you're dealing with 3D. Um, which is quite annoying. The shadows don't have any range. But again, beta. Mm -hmm. Maybe that'll be fixable. Maybe not. Uh, especially when you go into the corner. And it really starts tanking now. Literally nothing in there. I tried to fill a thingy up, but the game just crashed a lot. 
Uh, right, and you can also like raise it up in sort of a, or lower it as I've clicked now in sort of a bumpy way, or a square way. And the square isn't a square. The square is a triangle. Let's just let's just let's just put this to bed now. This is a triangle. That is not a square. That's a, they, they don't know what the American flag looks like. They don't know what a square and a triangle are like. Anyway, you can smooth it out as well. Ooh, I made it so smooth. Ooh, look at that. It's like a baby's ass. And you can paint it various different colours of grass. Oh, uh, the frame rate really doesn't like me painting things. Ooh, shit. Uh, yeah, so you got rocks, grass, sand, and mud. Ooh, everything a growing boy wants. So that's sand now, apparently. Oh, no, that's sand. There we go. I was like, fast and fuck all. Because I hadn't clicked it or something. So, yes, yeah, so you can paint the terrain to look like sand. You can also do strengths if you want something to not look quite like sand. Or something. Uh, that's all the terrain tools. Oh, there's a water tool. Hey, has that been added recently? Bloop. Oh, I made water. Bloop. Everybody dies. Shwoop. <laughs> oh, see, I don't think that was in when I played it the first time. Wow, we can actually see what the water's like. Well, it's fucking radioactive blue. It doesn't seem to be reflecting the sun. Oh, it's having a crack at the mountains in the distance, though. Is it reflective the further... Oh, it... It's reflective, like, the further away that I get. That's odd. I'm quite keen on the, the big sploosh you can do there. Just fucking drown everyone. That seems really inconvenient we're building it, but sure, why not? Let's kill everyone. Are you all drowning? You don't give a fuck, do you? You're ghosts. This is how you all died, wasn't it? I can decrease the water. Oh, of course, I have to be farther away to go. Oh, yeah, if you have a spillage, you're going to take fucking forever to clean it up. Because in the other roller coaster tycoons, all you did was you went... Hang on. Shift. Oh, I've got to zoom out, don't I? Boop. Well, that's filling up with water quite rapidly. Yeah. <laughs> Nice idea. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, all you had to do in the other one was you just clicked the height and it would just build the warp to that height. And in just that little area. So that looked much nicer. Well, I do like the fact that I can just flood the place though. But from more of a chaos destruction kind of thing. Hmm. Let's build a big hole. Wibbly, 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 wibbly. Wow, if you'd spent any of the time on the, uh, that you did on the water on the roller coaster building, maybe I would have given a shit about this game in the end. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, where's the floor on this thing? Because I know you've got one. I found it the other day. Dig a trench through there. Oh man, this is this is actually just some sort of fun water simulator. Oh, does Unity do water by default now? <laughs> Questions I have to ask myself. I'm like, no, no actually, wait a minute. It may just be a Warner D asset, a Unity asset. There you go. I built some water. That's quite a nice little thing. The train doesn't look great. I'm not. I, I. The problem with this is, of course, you can't build things like waterfalls. Jesus, that's fast. Loop, loop. What is your water made out of? Is your water like hydro? What's it called? Hydrophonic. Isn't that a band? Oh, stereophonics. Never mind. Bloop. Oh, see, now I'm having fun. Yep. <laughs> I'd zoom right. I'd be like. <laughs> and then, from over this side, we could watch it play a height as a tidal wave turns up. In about six weeks. Game speed up. It's gonna take fucking forever, isn't it? Oh well. Well, that side of the train is watery. I'm trying to stop it. <laughs> oh yeah, we just we'd be like, no, not today. And dig it down, dig it down, dig it down, dig it down, dig it down. There's a trench, and there's a trench. I've saved us all. I am the hero. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. <laughs> I finally felt like I liked about a hate. See, I know it's not all bitterness. Oh, hates is not going to be like hell where everything must suck. This is going to be a bit more. Hey, that's actually kind of neat. Check that out. Look at me making some water. What does that have to do with building roller coasters? Oh, fucking nothing. <laughs> there's, there's fucking nothing that lets me do that. Uh, I'd also like to point out that that is fucking incredible. Does it? Does the terrain not need to be there for things? S some of them think it does, and some of them thinks it doesn't. What about trees? Uh, no, you just build it on little plinthy things. Digging underneath the yard. Hey, I should build a roller coaster now. Uh, so that is a nice little faux water uh, waterfall I've made there. That's nice. Oh, I'm so glad I can actually get to see what the water's like. So I can say that the water, while up close, is awful. Doesn't seem to have much depth. Like, it, it seems to thin out a bit too fast. Oh, it's stopped. Is it stopped or is it just is it still sort of flowing down here? Is this just how it's filled in? I don't quite get how it's working. It's very unusual. I think it's still moving. And let's build a, let's build a, like that, build a wall. And then it'll, oh no, it'll keep going, you see the little ripples going across. Yeah, there appears to be, it's sort of, oh no, it does dry up. Yeah, you can't build waterfalls. 
That's an arse. I wanted to be water. I was, I was about to say, hey, that's actually something cool. If only it was in Protocol Saki 3. Uh, right, so now what we want to do is the roller coasters! Yay! So we have loads of different types. Stand up roller coaster, that one tells you jokes. Inverted coaster, that's not great. Wing coaster, hyper coaster. Let's build a hyper coaster. Uh, with a drop of 200 feet or more! Right, so here's how this works you build it, and then you start to realize why the grid system was so genius. I need to shift and mouse wheel that around like that. Ooh, it does look a bit scatty from a distance, though, doesn't it? And then shift and drag that around there like that. Mm. Go there. Right, so you no longer use the grid building thing. Now, I've always been for the grid building thing because it gives you wonderful, lovely precision. And I like wonderful, lovely precision. But everybody seems to like this more... I don't know. Oh, God. See, if you go too high with it, like, as you can still build like this, uh, it starts becoming a bit more... It's a bit less building something nice and smooth than it's a bit more trying to get a hose pipe back in a cupboard. Uh, oh, this pisses me off. This is this is sort of the level of you haven't quite understood what's going on. So when you build a, a roller coaster and any of the other tycoons, they had a height limit. And that height limit was like how high the supports for it could be. So in this case, the height limit, as you can see here, is 80 meters. I can't go any higher. I can go lower, but I can't go any higher. Which means that if I was to go over to this terrain here, I should be able to build it higher. But I can't. I'm scrolling. I can go down a little. But I can go up a little. But it stops there. So it's like a, a built-in height limit. Which is annoying. And if I go over here... Look, it just, it's saying invalid location for... So, oh, because it's trying to dig... Oh, there's no tunnels. As you can see there, it's trying to go through the big mountain. There's no actual tunnels in this game. Which is annoying. Um, so, hang on. Let's build this over here. Like that. And then we have to click again. And then we can build it. As you can see, look. You can just clear right over this big gap. So it's 80 meters from ground level, no matter where the ground is. It's just it's just ground level, isn't it? There's no care for it at all, which I, I just I just find that kind of irritating. That's like that's like the tiny little details. I'm like, nearly, but not quite. We'll talk about that hell in a minute. I just need to destroy it first. Yes, kill that whole thing. UI is so hard. Um, right, coaster builder, hyper coaster, create custom. Nice. Okie dokie. Yeah, all the waterfalls have dried up. That would have been really cool if you could make like a permanent one and it constantly... Well, then it would fill up at the bottom and you'd have to have a permanently deleting one. Which is how Thingy does it. Uh, City Skylines. Which is... I love their water. I love dynamic water. I think it's one of my favourite things in games. But I think it's... Overall, you got Rokos Tycoon 3 look better. Uh, right, so what we need to do... You have the different types of things you can build. Sound attract, chain lift, friction brake, booster, block brakes. So if we build a chain lift and then go up... I'm going to go to the highest point in the game, because that's the point of Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's to make roller coasters that would make everybody shit themselves in real life. Apparently I can build that. So I shall. Is that... Is that now upside down? I can't tell where... Oh, does it twist or something? Yeah, I don't quite get how to make things twist. Is that twisting with a chain? Okay. <laughs> There are two very important things. I think it's twisting with a chain, which I don't know works or not. The other thing is, these stairs <laughs> become a ladder, and then they become a fucking American warrior <laughs> sort of style event happening over there, which is nice. Awesome. Right, and then we'll add some boosters at the top. Click uh, to get it to whip around here, and then we'll make it uh, normal track. Go down. Dip, 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 dip. Sharp as you can. Sharp as you like. This to be a bit of a twist there. I don't want the twist. I want it to just go really sharp. This is what I don't like. This is this is where this system falls down. Because if I want to do a nice big vertical drop, look, it starts bending it round and doing mad shit. I'm like, no, I, j I just want a really nice steep drop. It's like, <gasps> are you sure you don't want to do it the way I want to do? And again, everything, like the camera, it's bolted to the ground. So my mouse is fucking off over in this direction and I'm manipulating it over here. So like, it's sort of... I mean, the mouse cross, I've got, I don't feel like I've got a huge amount of control because it's building it, the mouse straight down to ground level, so you want to sort of build from top down. Okay, that has just built, you see it's got like a weird kink in it, what the fuck is happening? There we go, snap that kink out. Right, so I want it to be here, but down. And so it's got its limits and stuff, so before you knew what its limits were, now with this new system you just don't know what the fuck the limits are at all. Uh, right, okay, down, 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 oh, maybe. It stopped there, and then the mouse wheel, oh, fucking hell. Scroll wheel, you have to hold down shift and then scroll wheel down to move that down. Because, of course, it's being built with the mouse. If you go over here to click, oh, I want this down, you've fucked off from your original position. Right there. 
thin can we get that? Again, look at this is like trying to put a hover back into a fucking cupboard. Ah, ah, oh, fuck off, and it's gone higher again. No, I want it low, but I want it over. Oh, fucking build that. See if I give a shit. Oh no. Yeah, you know, we'll keep that there, and then we'll try and build to over this bit. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Because you're going to see the new best thing about this game. Oh, fucking hell. Why does the mouse have to be over there? Invalid location. My fucking ass is that invalid location. Yeah, it seems to be fine if I did it with curve myself. Right, so, this is apparently a perfectly safe roller coaster. I don't think. I don't know if he's going to fucking make it up there. This UI is hideous, and when it's open, the game lags to balls. Excitement, intensity, nausea, and now there's a safety rating. This is apparently extremely safe. And I don't know if that's it, how dead that's deadly, like extreme deadly, if it that's is that bad, because this is quite clearly going to break. And I know it's going to break because they've changed roller coaster physics. So the excitement, intensity, nausea, yeah, that's all been done. We know what they all are. It's those. Did have to test it. There's a test button, I don't know what the fuck that's there for, because it's fucking telling me what they are as soon as I click on it. Right. What's that do? I double clicked it. Oh, that looks like that's kind of broken. M operating mode. Let's not click that. There's things down here that we can't change. That's to change the paint on the trains. And I know you can change that if you click on the construction thing. And then it's here. So we can change that. You can turn on and off the roller coaster. Well, I don't know how to turn off the roller coasters, actually. But you can turn them on. And then they're on. So that's nice. Uh, and then you can change. That one's now green and that one's blue. You can't, like, individually paint them the ones you want. You've got these set colours. And it's the same for the track. The track is all over... You want this colour, we'll have pink there, and then green. So you can't paint individual bits like you used to be able to. So again, it, this, this is SimCity all over again. They got all the shit and went, we're going to take all that out, and then put in a few kind of nifty things that are overall useless to the thing. That's what a lot of games are doing these days. I'm surprised this game isn't just called Roller Coaster Tycoon. Right. Remember when the, in the old UI these were little squares? They were just the green lights, and they were on the side of a beautiful UI? It was all... Oh, Chris Sawyer was a fucking genius. Right. We can ride the rides, but there is a chance that when you click that button, it'll break. So I'm not going to click that button quite yet. It's it's about... I would say 50-50. <laughs> Hang on a second. Wait. Stop. Test again. Are you crashing through that? I think you might be crashing through that. Oh, no. I think I think it's just crashing through the, the seat and the roller coaster. But only Ninja Warriors are going across that. So. Is it Ninja Warrior? American Warrior? I can't fucking remember what it's called. Apparently that's working. Oh, shit. No, I didn't show you all of the nifty features in this game. Yeah. Well, it's me. Oh, I need to close this down to open up this menu. That bugs me. Click on this. Click on this. Come on, there we go. Right, to change the lift speed, you don't do it overall. You have to actually click on the sections and then go to these UI elements that are almost always buried behind things. There we go. To change it there. And that's that bit changed because we've got that all in one go. The stairs seem to go a bit Different to the ride there. Anyway, so that just means that going faster now. So I then need to close this down to open this back up to test it. Which opens up this menu. Which is an ass. Oh, look, there's the results. Why are we testing it? I don't know. That's what you got. There's the blue one. Oh, let's put the speed up. Wow, it can actually it can actually accelerate like that, can it? Just basically upside down. Okie dokie. Right. Slow it down. Here comes the speed. And then big drop. Nice big drop, and then it'll just do that. So it sounds like it's going, but it's just done that. Because, for some reason, they decided if you go too fast at a corner, the roller coaster is just going to fling itself off. Now, I understand the fun of building a roller coaster that dead ends and then plowing it into a thing so it explodes and everyone falls over and screams. That was, you know, that was anarchy in the USA. That was, that was. Hilarity in the USA as well. Everybody loved doing that. But actually, making me only be able to build good roller coasters and only sane, real-world physics existing roller coasters, that hurts my brain. Because building a roller coaster in the last game was a puzzle. Because if you if this had made it and gone back there and it had gone, shit, your intensity's high, you had to watch the graphs. And then when the graph got to here and the G-forces went... Rrr! Then you had to go, oh, it's there, and then you could tweak it and fix it. And you actually had to then tweak and fix and design your roller coasters. This just goes, it's there, we're, we're pointing at it. I feel it's just taken, like, something away. Like, because you that was never a problem. If it was a bit too intense, you'd go, oh, that's fine. But now, if it's going to fling off... And I've had things fling off on straight fucking lines. It's just, that's what they do. Close it, test it, there we go. I like how it knew the speed it was going here, even though the roller coaster was off by then. Should we click this? 
Hey! Actually worked this time. Steam screenshot F2. Mmm, delicious screenshot. <laughs> are we are we being held in in any way? Oh, I'm sitting on the fucking front of the damn thing. I'd also like to point out, how did it come off there if it's, like, upside down there? Are they not connected? I thought roller coasters were connected underneath as well. Just how they could go upside down safely. I guess not. Oh, yeah, you can't look around and have that UI disappear. Oh, what's left and right? Oh, I can sit in a different seat. Well, I can sit in this seat. Or the front. Oh, or maybe another one. There we go. Let's sit in the front seat. We go. Whee! Smash. And then we piss off into space! Oh, no, we kept going! Fuck those guys! Oh, now we've fallen off. Whee! Bounce. Yeah, they don't even explode anymore. Bounce. I'm just gonna line a ditch over here, apparently. Right, close that down. Oh yes, this happens as well sometimes. I have no idea how to escape this. It starts going wrong. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, Roller Coaster <laughs> Tycoon World. It's um, out in just over a month. That's apparently the beta, not some sort of prototype. Um, wait for reviews. Maybe this is just an absolutely awful beta. But I hate this beta. It deserves to be hated. And the... Uh, Full game may be spectacular, although I really, 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 really fucking doubt it. The Nerd Cube! The Nerd Cube! The Nerd Who? The Nerd Cube!